Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Dragon Craig, aka Leo Prime. And today we are doing the Q&A, the Christmas Q&A. Not just any Q&A, a Christmas Q&A. And that's never been done before. Well, I've never really seen anyone call their Q&A a Christmas Q&A, so... I guess this is kind of an original, even though Q&As that are put out around Christmas do get Christmas questions. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So, I asked for a lot of questions, but I did ask, ask that you did have to have a Christmas question. And you know what? I got a lot. And I have to say, I'm really thankful for the questions. It really means a lot. I'm very, very thankful for that. So, we are going to answer all of these questions. So, here we go. I'm starting with... Juna RJ. So, Christmas questions. Have you ever thought of Santa? Have you ever sorry? Have you ever thought of seeing Santa Claus in real life? Well, I've obviously seen the Santa Clauses that you know you'd see in the shopping centers. So, does that count? Does Krampus really exist? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Will you be having KFC for Christmas? It's a tradition in Japan. No, I'm not a big KFC person. Sorry to disappoint some of you. How many Christmas gifts do you get in a year? Well, when I was a kid, it would usually be about five. So this time, I'm just getting money and I'm hoping to get one of the Guardians of Gahul books, the prequel book, uh, Rise of Legend, which is the prequel on Lies of Kiel, aka Evil Rib. And I have read the 15 books and not gonna lie, I was a bit disappointed with the finale. But, um, you know, they're, they're pretty good books, but... um. Usually, you know, when we get, you know, when I was a kid, uh, it would be usually like be about five Christmas presents. Last year, it was around three. I got the new phone, uh, the Skylander and the How to Train Your Dragon Homecoming DVD. So uh, what is your biggest wish list for Christmas? Like, why are you hoping uh, the most to get this Christmas? Well, the money, hopefully. So there's that. What cookie and milk brand do you give Santa? Well, we give him cookies and a drink. <laughs> Um, you got Christmas stockings, right? We do. That's where we get our little surprise, like, presents from, say, our parents or, like, our brother or our sister. Any Christmas themes, uh, any, sorry, any Christmas things you do during Christmas, like Advent calendars or Christmas films, you, what do you usually do on Christmas? What's your plan to shit? Well, I have actually had an Advent calendar. I usually get one every year. I have watched a lot of Christmas films. Obviously, I've done the ones I reviewed. I have watched the first two Home Alones, the Santa Claus trilogy, Elf, which I reviewed. I'm trying to think. What else did I watch? I'm hoping to watch Polar Express. Uh, that's our biggest tradition on Christmas. We always watch Polar Express every Christmas Eve. I think it's a masterpiece, Polar Express. Like, I, I just think it is amazing. But, you know, I know a lot of people may disagree with me. That's fine. But I, I just adore the Polar Express. I think it's fantastic. And then on Christmas Eve, we usually go to Dublin, you know, walk around the shops and all. So it's pretty good. And we get pizza. So that's that's pretty good. It's a good Christmas tradition. Right. Other questions. What list of films are you watching lately? Well, mainly Christmas ones. Like I said, Home Alone 1 and 2, Santa Claus. Um, I'm hoping to watch Rise of the Guardians today, Jack Frost. It's my favorite Christmas movie. I just, I love it. What kind of movies do you like? Well, my type of movies would be animation, uh, mainly, but like live action. I like action films. Like I like something like, say, of the Avengers or Spider-Man. And I, you know what? Kind of thinking about it, it made me want to see a kind of more grown up version of Power Rangers on TV. Not like, you know, you know, a bad one, but like kind of something that feels more grown up, like kind of like what Down of Thunder is, except, you know, you kind of remove the stuff that like to make it safe. But anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about like what kind of movies I like. But um, I like a good a good action film as well. Um, I don't like horror. I, I'm sorry. Just eh -eh. but um, yeah. What movies are you looking forward to seeing? I guess out of the ones that were so close to, keep in mind a lot of films have been delayed because of the COVID and all. I guess I would like to see The Croods 2 A New Age. I am pretty intrigued to see it. I've heard some good things about it. So I would like to see it. I'd like to, because I am a DreamWorks fan. And I did really like the first uh, Croods movie. And I, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good as a kid. So I'd like to see it again. Um, Do you have any plans to go on cinemas during uh, 
pandemic to only watch a movie exclusive to cinemas. I've watched Home Alone. <laughs> that's that's it. What are your thoughts on films being released on streaming at the same time in cinemas? I think it's a good idea because some cinemas might be open, so you could release the movies, new movies there. But also for places that don't have the cinemas open, you could release them streaming. Um, so yeah, that's just that's just my opinion. It can be useful. Do you think the cinema industry is dead? And what do you have to say on that? In your opinion, well, I don't know. It's just the problem is it's just the amount of coronavirus cases. And um, it's what happening going on in the world. I think as soon as the vaccine is here, I think everything will go back to normal and cinemas will not remain, will, won't die. I, I can't see the cinemas dying. I, that, that's impossible because look how many years we've had cinema. Favourite music to listen to? I like Owl City songs. I love Owl City. What movies are you planning to get next? Um... I don't know. I have no idea. I literally have no idea if I'm being honest. Right, so that's his questions and thank you very much. Spiritual Orchard, have I seen How to Train a Dragon Homecoming? Yes, I have, and I have even reviewed it. Um, I actually rewatched it, yeah, Sunday because it was on TV. Uh, it is a very, very good Christmas special. Don't get me wrong, I really, really like it. It definitely isn't perfect it didn't reach its full potential but i still enjoyed it nonetheless uh, andrew good guy asks what do you do for a tradition at christmas well like i said we go to dublin uh, every christmas eve and watch polar express every christmas eve night so that's kind of our that's our tradition are you aiming to get playstation 5 or xbox series x next year not really um i so, no, nah, for the moment, no. Uh, I'm, next year, I'm hoping to at least get a new phone because at the moment, my current phone has screen burning. That's from using the keyboard a lot. So that was kind of my fault. So yeah. What is your favorite Christmas present ever? I don't know. Money, I guess. Um, Nixie Aqua. Uh, if you could spend Christmas Day with any character from any movie or TV show, that would be one character be, and what would you give them as a Christmas gift, and what do you think they would give you in return? Hmm. Any character at all. Toothless. Uh, to Ryder, Toothless or Soren. Um. Actually, no, I'm going to go with Toothless. Yeah, Toothless. I would give Toothless probably Fish, and then I think in return he'd probably give me... I don't know, maybe a pizza. <laughs> that's a that's a good question. I'd have to think about that. Animated Realm asks, "What are your thoughts on some of the announcements made in Disney Investor Day?" I think it's pretty cool. The Toy Story one actually does sound appealing. That it's an actual like real prequel about Buzz Lightyear, how he is on the TV show on the Toy Story universe. I think that's quite a creative and unique idea. I think that actually could be really good. Right, um, he has some other questions as well, but they're in a different comment. You like any of, all right, most hated person on YouTube asks, do you like any of the Simpsons Christmas specials? I haven't seen them in a while, but I guess so. Mysterious, sorry, I just have to keep scratching my nose. Ah, sorry. Uh, Mysterious Dragons Channel, what do you think of Christmas? Is it all food or presents or family time and hanging out with friends? Or do you think that Christmas is supposed to be different than it is now? Well, I guess, like, for the kids, it's mostly the presents, because, you know, they're only kids, they get all excited. I think it's mainly family. It's mainly family, but also loving. Christmas is about caring and loving and giving, and it's about being, it's being kind. It's being kind. Yeah, that's what it's about, about kindness. Right, After Credits asks, uh, favourite Christmas special or film, or film, uh, or of any film or TV? My favourite Christmas special would have to be Comfy Panda Holiday. I love it. It's a classic. Have you seen How I Met Your Mother? I haven't, but I might check it out. Have I seen Friday Night Dinner? Yes, I have, and I have also reviewed it. What's your favourite TV series? Um, that My top three TV shows would be Avatar The Last Airbender, Dragon's Race to the Edge, and Power Rangers Down of Thunder. Favourite DreamWorks series, Dragon's Race to the Edge. <laughs> right, Mitchell Serenke. He has a lot of questions, so... Thanks. Um, right. What's your opinion on the Polar Express? Like I said, I love it. Are you planning on checking out Four Christmases next year? Yeah, I don't see why not. We'll wait and see. 
Have I watched National Lampion, Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? No, I have not. Have I watched Red Cross? Yes, I have. I have watched it years ago in 2013 with my family. We have the DVD somewhere. And from what I remember, it was a good movie. Have I seen the Santa Claus movies? Yes, I have. I've seen all three of them. <laughs> Are you planning on watching the Inbetweeners next year? Um, We'll see. Um, I might give it a watch. What would you say to Crash if you crashed into your screen? I don't know. <laughs> have I watched any of the Star Trek um, movies? No. Well, I might have seen one. Am I planning on watching Game of Thrones and Bringing Bad next year? I don't really like that kind of violence. I'm sorry, so no. But Breaking Bad, I don't know much about it, so I can't really say. Are you planning on getting new speed, new speed, new, sorry, new Need for Speed Hot Pursuit remaster for the Switch? We'll see. Um, we shall wait and see. Have I watched the Titanic film from James Cameron? Yes, I have. We actually watched that when we first got Sky in our house, and I remember it being okay, but I haven't seen it in a while, but I wasn't like, I don't know, like, I remember it making me really sad. What's your opinion, opinion on Bleeding Love by Linnea Lewis from No Strings Attached? I don't really know. I don't really have an opinion, sorry. Have I watched Barat? No, not that I know of. Have I watched War Horse from Steven Spielberg? No, I have not, but I have heard of it. Are you planning on checking out Wanted with James McAvoy and Morgan Freeman sometime next year on Netflix? I can't promise, but I'm not. I'm going to flip a coin. <laughs> I'm, we'll see. I'm going to flip a coin. Have I watched Super Bad with jo Jonah Hill and Michael Cera? I've seen my older brother watch it, but I myself have never watched it. Um, What's your favorite I'm sorry, who what's your favorite Scott Pilgrim vs. the World character? Uh that's easy. Scott. He, he's fantastic. Are you planning on checking out she's out of my league? Uh I've seen a bit I was actually watching a bit of it um last not not last week, the week before with my old brother and I thought it was quite funny so I might actually give that a watch because it seems very funny. Thanks for the questions man. It means a lot. Uh the Joe's Plus uh what is your favorite Christmas tradition? I guess watching the Polar Express every Christmas Eve. So that'd be mine. Well, favorite Christmas food? I don't really have one. Uh, pizza, I guess, even though that doesn't really count. Uh, animated Realm, his other question. Would I like a Kung Fu Panda spin-off or prequel? I think the prequels are better off in the shorts. Um, that's just my opinion. A spin-off? I would love a Panda Village spin-off film. Focusing more on what they got up to during the 20 years. I think that'd be a really good... Um, I think it could be interesting for Lee Shan to get a good bit of backstory. Because looking back on Kung Fu Panda 3, he has backstory. But I don't know. I'm just very... It, it, Panda 3 really ignored a lot of Panda 2. And that was what, you know, was a bit of a disappointment. But hopefully, if we get Kung Fu Panda 4, I'm hoping we do... Uh, we might get something explained, or maybe in the TV show it might be explained how Lee Shan survived the massacre. Thanks for the question, Ginger Cat Fifty Nine. What's the worst Christmas film you've ever seen? That would probably be The Night Before Christmas. It's, uh, it's not horrible, but like even looking back on it, my thoughts are really starting to decline. It's not a good movie. It's not a good movie. It's. It's average, but it's so corny, especially the ending dialogue made me laugh. It's so bad, the ending of it, but uh, it's just such a mediocre film. Um, Lam Thanks for the question. Lambo Rock Strikes Back asks, what's the best memory of Christmas? Probably when I got Skylanders for the first time. That'd probably be mine. Uh, Tyron asks, why is Christmas your favourite holiday and what is your favourite Christmas movie of all time? Rise of the Guardians. And I think, like, Christmas, the thing is, summer is considered by many to be the best holiday because it's two to three months off school. And not just school, but even, you know, college and all that. I think, like, it's just because, like, the, the Christmas just, it's about kindness and giving. Uh, summer's more like that break. But Christmas, it's busy, but, like, it's a good season. Christmas is just wonderful. Right. 
Um, we got more questions. Yeah, uh, we're nearly done. Kevin Lockhart asks, when's the next music video, tribute video? The last one I did was the Legend of the Guardians one with uh, learning how to fly. I've never really thought about coming back to it, uh, the tribute videos. I might consider doing one for Dino Thunder, but that's about it. I would like to, if, like, I can't see myself doing tributes again. I might, but I'm not going to promise anything because tributes... They don't really suit my channel, um, as, you know, even looking back. Like, I know I've made a few, but, like, I don't know, like, I'll have to consider it. I might put them on the short film channel, like I put... Because I have made um, edits with these series, and I did one with Jungle Fury as well. Um, I might consider... I'll have to consider it, but... If you ask me, like, what would I use, it'd be a Dino Thunder one. So thanks for the question, Kevin. Miguel Navita asks, what are my thoughts on Spider-Man 3 with Toby, Andrew, Tom, and what do you think will happen? If they're going to bring back Toby Maguire, I think it's going to be a great movie. I think it's going to be possibly the best Spider-Man movie we've had. I don't really know what much will happen, but we just got to wait and see. Right, and the final question comes from Movie Mation. What is my favourite Christmas song? Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone, by Shaken Stevenson. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Right, so that is all the questions. Uh, thank you very much. And Darius Petrosale asks, he doesn't ask, he just says, Merry Christmas. And you know what? Merry Christmas, everyone. We're nearly there. It's been a terrible year, and we need Christmas. We really need it, and I'm so excited for it. It's Hopefully we'll get a good Christmas this year. And until then, guys, skadoosh everyone, take care and Merry Christmas. There's only three days left. Three days left till Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals.